Rise up to seated, everybody. Come into Sukhasana, your easy pose, comfortable pose. Take a couple of pelvic tilts, rocking forward and back. So our pelvis is the seat of apana, a downward moving energy in our bodies. And we can tap into this downward moving energy when we need more grounding, when we need to plug in, when we need some strength and stability in the lower body. So as you're rocking your pelvis back and forth, bring your full awareness to your pelvic floor and how these layers of muscles are gently engaging to create this movement and gently sliding over one another as we rock forward and back. And also just imagine the energy streaming down your legs into your feet. Visualize the energy pouring from the pelvis down the legs to the feet, downward moving energy. Find a neutral pelvis and some rib cage circles. As you're circling from your ribs, bring your awareness to your diaphragm the muscle between your lungs and your liver underneath the rib cage. Reverse direction. As you breathe, notice the expansion in your lungs, in your rib basket. The chest cavity is the seat of pranavayu. Reverse direction. The expansive and light energy the energy that lifts us up and makes us buoyant. Reverse directions one more time. So in your chest, feel, visualize yourself feeling light and expansive. Lift from the diaphragm, find stillness, and find that lift from the chest. Lift and expand. So from the pelvis down the legs, energy is moving downward rooting, grounding. From the diaphragm up, the energy is expansive and makes us lighter. And if you can't tap into the subtleties of it just yet, imagine it. In that space between the pelvis and the diaphragm, visualize the energy moving inward toward a central point the energy of stability, samana vayu. We have energy moving down, energy lifting up, energy moving in to stabilize. And now inhale, reach your arms out and up. We also have energy giving us mobility. Exhale the arms out and down, viana vayu the outward moving energy. Three more breaths. And with these breaths, notice what's moving down and what's moving up. What's stabilizing, holding you in place, and what's allowing the movement to occur. One more breath. <clears throat> and find neutral, close your eyes. So these vayus, these forms of prana, manifestations of vata in the body, downward grounding, upward, light and expansive, inward, stabilizing, outward and moving. Which of these energies do you need to nourish, not only in your physical body, in your physical practice, but in your life? Do you need to be a little more grounded? Do you need to lighten up? Do you need to look inward and find your center? And do you need more movement? Do you need to shake things around? Pick one. 
and set your intention upon nourishing this vayu, apana, prana, samana, or viana, which direction needs a little bit more attention and energy. And we'll chant OM three times to set this intention into motion. Inhale, stretch your arms forward, palms facing inward to OM. Inhale, stretch your arms out and up. Interlace your fingers, arch back. Exhale, round through your spine. At the bottom of the exhale, gently pull the pelvic floor up and pull the belly in as the chin tucks down to the chest. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, round forward. Squeeze the pelvic floor, pull the belly button back, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, arch up. Exhale, round forward, squeeze Mula Bandha, pelvic floor, Uddiyana Bandha, navel lift, Jalandhara Bandha, chin lock. Inhale, back up. Exhale, release your fingertips to the, to the floor on either side of your seat. Reach up and over toward the kitchen and up and over to the other side. So we're going to focus our practice today on moving these directional forces, these forms of prana, through activation of subtle energy locks called bandhas. Reach up and over, rotate up to the sky, and exhale, thread the needle, stretch underneath your opposite arm, look behind you to your fingers. Inhale, roll upward. Exhale, roll downward. One more time. Lift up and over to the other side. Thread the needle three times here. So we've already talked about padabandha and hastabandha, foot lock and hand lock, as a way to direct the energy and channel our body weight so we feel a little bit lighter and more grounded. We're going to talk today and experience today in more depth mulabandha. Reach out over your ear, inhale, arms up. Three times twist to each side on the exhale. Inhale, untwist. So Mula Bandha is the root lock. We'll ex ex feel it in different ways. But basically it's engaging the pelvic floor for women like you're doing a Kegel exercise. Lifting the lowest muscle in the physical body, the physical torso. Uddiyana Bandha, the navel lock or flying upward lock. Navel pulls up and back once the pelvic floor is activated. This activates the samana vayu, giving us more stability and strength. Rest your hands on your knees, circle the ribcage once again. And Jalandhara Bandha, which is the cloud catching lock, tucking the chin down to the chest, reverse direction. This generally helps to lengthen our spine and also to control breath. Come back to neutral. Just for a moment, let's feel these energy locks. Engage the pelvic floor, lift the pelvic floor up, and then relax. We'll feel this in different positions. This is maybe not the most simple position in which to feel it, but we can still go for it here, and then we can compare it in other shapes. So we engage the pelvic floor when we need better balance, when we need to conserve our energy, or when we need a little turbo boost of energy, or when we need more downward grounding and upward lifting. It does both of those. Uddiyana Bandha is once you lift the pelvic floor, the belly button scoops up and back like you're scooping it underneath your rib cage, like you're trying to tuck a grape into your belly button and hold it up and back. 
And the deepest form of this can only be done on the full breath retention, but we can use it in asana and breathe at the same time. This also gives us more downward grounding, upward lift, and inner stability. And Jalandharabandha is the lifting of the chest, widening of the collarbones, and then your chin pulls back and tucks down right in between the collarbones here. The crown of the head pulls up, the spine lengthens up, and this is done mainly in pranayama, but in many asana this happens naturally. We found it in our six movements of the spine already. We find it in cat and cow, in plow, in shoulder stand, in bridge. So it's a way to conserve the way the prana is flowing through the central channel. So when we're moving the subtle energies like this, these are all subtle forms of prana. And as a mantra, we're going to chant to Hanuman, who is a manifestation of prana, said to be a son of the wind. And by aligning with this energy, we can have a deeper relationship with the prana, the subtle pranas in our body. So we'll do this call and response, and then we'll do it all together. Jaya Hanumana Ati Balavana Ramana Marasiare Prabhu Mana Basiare Jaya Hanumana Ati Balavana Ati Balavana Ramana Marasiare Ramana Marasiare Prabhu Mana Basiare Jaya Hanumana Ati Balavana Ramana Marasiare Prabhu Mana Basiare Let's do it three times together. Jaya Hanumana Ati Balavana Ramana Marasiare Prabhu Mana Basiare Jaya Hanumana Ati Balavana Ramana Marasiare Prabhu Mana Basiare. Last one. Jaya Hanumana Ati Balavana Ramana Marasiare. Prabhu Mana Basiare. Here we have access to the infinite source of prana, of life force, of vitality, and may connection to and awareness of the beauty of cosmic consciousness awaken our heart, awaken the joy in our heart. As a breathing exercise, we're going to do Kapalabhati, which we did yesterday before meditation, and we're going to experiment with holding the breath using Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, and Jalandhara Bandha. So it's the same technique we've been working on, forceful exhale, passive inhale by pumping the belly. You guys all know that. And then we'll go through a round. We'll start with a round of 54. And at the bottom, <clears throat> after the last exhale, we'll hold the breath out. We'll engage the pelvic floor. We'll find Jalandhara Bandha, and then we're going to use a technique called Agni Sara, or Agni Sar, where once we're empty, we're going to pump the belly without any breath. And you'll do that for, I'll count for about 10 counts, 
and then soften the belly, slowly fill up, and hold the breath in with Mula Bandha, a gentle Uddiyana Bandha, and Jalandara, Jalandara Bandha engaged, holding the breath in, and then a soft exhale. So we're going to do that three times, and you'll feel it. And it might take a little bit of practice to get the isolation of the muscle to be able to pump, but the key things that you want to do are to, one, have the pelvic floor lifted while you're doing this pumping. You want to make sure that you're empty, no breath, and you're just pulling the belly in and out. So no breath, pelvic floor engaged, and just pump the belly. Eyes closed, so you don't pop. So close your eyes, take a cleansing breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale to a comfortable level and begin Kapalabhati, forceful exhale, passive inhale, forceful exhale, passive inhale. Last three, two, one. Exhale all the breath out. Wring yourself out like a sponge. Engage the pelvic floor and pump the belly. No breath, just pumping the belly. Keep pumping. Puff it in and suck it. Puff it out, suck it in. Good. Exaggerate the movement. See how big you can make that movement of the belly. And relax it. Slowly inhale. Fill up your vessel from the bottom to the middle to the top. Inhale a little bit more. One more sip. Hold the breath in, relax your shoulders, engage the pelvic floor, widen the collarbones and tuck the chin down to the front of the throat. Hold the breath in for five, four. Notice what's dissolving with this breath retention. And slowly relax your body, release the breath. Natural breath, inhale and exhale and we'll come into another round inhale to a comfortable level and begin forceful exhale passive inhale forceful exhale passive inhale good Five, four, three, two, exhale all the breath out. Squeeze, 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 squeeze all the breath. Lift the pelvic floor and pump the belly in and out. Make the belly big and suck it in. Keep pumping and do it as fast as you can. Once you get the technique, do it fast. Nourishing that inner fire that exists at the solar plexus area. Nourishing that inner fire so that the inner fire is balanced. We have just the right amount to burn away all of the impurities, to illuminate our understanding and fuel our digestion. Relax, inhale fully, fill up your pelvis, your belly, your chest. Inhale a little bit more. Hold the breath in, lift the pelvic floor, mula bandha. Gently lift the navel, Lift the chest, widen the collarbones, and tuck the chin down. Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, Jalandhara Bandha, gently engaged, and soften around your breath. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release the breath. Cleansing breath at your own pace, a full inhale and a full exhale. And one more round. Inhale to a comfortable level. Begin with the Kapalabhati. Exhale, exhale. So Kapalabhati, the skull polishing breath, energizing, awakening, stimulating, and deeply, deeply cleansing, deeply, deeply purifying. offering up any toxins on any level, 
on a physical level, on a mental level, on an emotional level. Offering anything that does not have a positive impact on our life experience to the inner fire. So the inner fire can transform that energy, can free up that energy so that we can use it for other purposes. For our own healing and for global healing. Learning how to harness these subtle energies so that we can direct them and use them. Five, four, three, two. Exhale all the breath out. Exhale, 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 and pump the belly. In and out. See if you can exaggerate the movement. Do it for as long as you can, and when you need to rest, relax it and deeply inhale. Apply Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, and Jalandhara Bandha, and hold the breath in for as long as you can. Self-regulate. When you come to your edge, release the breath and the bandhas. Breathe naturally and tune in to observe the subtle energies, the subtle pranas. It's an understanding of these subtle energies, something moving downward, something moving upward, something moving inward, something moving outward. This is how to make your yoga practice, your asana practice, more alive, more embodied, as opposed to just going through the motions. Slowly open your eyes up, stretch your legs out, circle your ankles, and the other way, bounce the backs of your legs, bottoms of your feet, feet as wide as your mat, drop your knees from side to side. Back through center, feet as wide as your shoulders, hands behind you, fingers facing forward. Exhale, lift your hips up. Inhale, glide your hips back and hover. Now shrug your shoulders, drop your seat, and lift it up. Two more times, drop your seat. Lift the pelvic floor, lift everything up. One more time, down and up. Swivel your hips forward and back. Three times. Drop the hips, use Mula Bandha, lift it up, down, and up, down, and up. You guys make it look easy, that's beautiful. One more time, glide up, and back, down, Mula Bandha. Relax, and lift, relax, and lift, and rinse it out through bench pose and down to your seat. Shift around onto your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes under and press back into downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels. Stretch your legs any way that feels good. Activate the hand lock, hastabandha. Be aware of how your hands are connected to your mat. Gently press the energy down your arms and down your legs. Tune into that downward moving force that connects you to the earth and plugs you in. Become aware of that upward lifting force. Lift the hips up, lift the lungs up. Feel the expansive and light nature of that upward moving energy. And in this shape, what's moving downward and what's lifting upward? Fine tune your body awareness. Step your feet as wide as your mat, sway your hips from side to side.
Find neutral with your hips. Reach your right hand across to your left ankle. Grab onto your left ankle. Lean your hips to the right. Look to the sky past your left armpit. Pull yourself into a twist. Totally release your head. Other side, ground your right hand, reach your left hand across to your right ankle, lean your hips to the left, look to the sky, past your right shoulder. And back through center, five times. Start with your feet as wide as your shoulders and glide through upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana and downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Four more times, use your breath and use your bandhas, Mula Bandha to lift the hips up. Mula Bandha to protect the low back as the hips come down. Press the hips back and up. Take your feet a step closer, keep them wide, walk your hands back, and drop down into Malasana. Keep your hands on the floor in front of you, and lift your pelvis about six inches, 10 centimeters, lift up, and then fully release down. Engage the pelvic floor, lift the whole pelvis up, and release down. Lift the whole pelvis up and release down. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Lift the toes, lift the arches, and lift the pelvis again about five centimeters. Engage the pelvic floor all the way, as much as tight as you can engage it. And then imagine that your pelvic floor is like an elevator in an apartment building. And when you're engaged, you're all the way up on the top level. We're gonna divide it into four levels. So right now we're at level four, lower down to level three, level two, level one, and the ground floor. Lift up one, two, three, four, lower three, two, one, zero. Do that one more time. Engage one, two, three, four, and release, three, two, one, zero. Release your hands to the mat, lift your hips up. For just a moment, keep your toes and your feet where they are. Hold on to your opposite elbow, sway from side to side. Release your hands back down and squat down once again. But as you're squatting down, keep Mula Bandha engaged to control the descent. Prop your right knee open with your right arm. Reach your left arm to the sky. Shine from your heart space. Find that upward moving lift, that buoyancy. Exhale, reach your hand across and down. Inhale, reach your arm across and up. Two more times. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, wrap your arms around your right leg into a bind, back of your right armpit around the front of the knee. Pull your spine towards your thigh, stretch your nose to the sky. Keep lifting through Mula Bandha all the way up to level four. Find the lightness in your body. Return to center. Maintain the buoyancy. Prop the left knee open. Reach your right arm up. Exhale, close the gate. Reach across and down. And across and up. Exhale, inhale. Again, find the bind, wrap your top arm across your back, bottom arm across the front of the knee, pull the chest open, find the buoyancy, lift your toes, lift your arches, widen your knees, find something moving upward like you're a ship attached to a mooring, you're floating on the surface of the sea. And back to center. Release your arms down, lift your hips up, inch your feet so they are underneath your hips. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, forward fold, press into your feet. Engage Mula Bandha, engage the pelvic floor, roll onto your tiptoes. Stretch all the way up, 
Also lift the navel to the spine. Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha. Exhale, drop the heels, lift the toes, squat down and back. Engage Mula Bandha, lift back up. Uddiyana Bandha, lift your navel. Lower your arms, lower your heels. Trace that same pathway two more times. Lift the pelvic floor, inhale, rise up onto your toes, stretch tall, pull your belly button back. Keep lifting your pelvic floor as you lower down. Engage the pelvic floor again, rise up. Arms down, heels down. And one more time, Mula Bandha activates. Find the lift, root down, find the stability. Push down from the legs to rise up through your upper body. Exhale, heels down, arms down. We're going to come into an exercise called the Nali Kriya, or we're going to lead to that, move in that direction. We're going to hollow out the belly. This is also called the hollow lake, and it's the deepest form of Uddiyana Bandha. So this is a technique where we're going to take a full inhale, a full exhale, it helps me to really exaggerate the exhale with a lion's breath. So squeeze all the breath out, exhale, exhale, exhale. And then the tailbone points to the floor and the whole belly hollows out. The ribs pop out. We hold the breath out. Once you can hollow out the belly, you can experiment by pumping the belly the same way that you guys did in between the Kapalabhati rounds. So you guys all have that pumping in your body. And once you can pump pretty confidently, you can start to roll, make it a little smoother so the belly starts to roll. We're massaging all the internal organs. We're massaging the second brain, the biggest outlet of the nervous system that exists in our gut. We are squeezing the microbiome. So this is very beneficial to how our mind works and our mental clarity. We are activating our inner fire. So we're nourishing that inner fire at this region with all of the impurities that gather in the belly, in the abdominal area. Um, this, so I'll, sh I'll demo it once and then we'll do it together a few times. So that's the hollowness. To feel how to pop the ribs out, that's not a natural movement for a lot of people. Just bring your hands to your lo the lowest part of your ribs and touch the tips of your middle fingers together. Exhale, so the middle fingers are touching. And now inhale and widen the ribs so your fingers separate. So Alex, bring your hands up a little bit higher so that the ribs really move the hands. So everybody feel how the fingers separate when you spread the ribs? And then bring the fingers back together, squeeze the ribs together. Can everyone isolate their ribs like that? If anyone can't do it, just give me a little wave and I'll see if I can give you a different instruction that might make better sense. So inhale, the ribs spread. Pop, pop them out like you're, real, like you're trying to look really, really skinny. Pop this in. Some people's ribs stick out more than others. And then squeeze them together. One more time, just the ribs. So we're spreading the ribs as much as we can, which naturally creates more of a hollow. Good, should we do the whole thing? Yes. All right. <laughs> So stand with your feet a little wider than your shoulders. Reach your arms to the sky, inhale fully. Exhale, soften your knees and bring your hands to your thighs and squeeze all the breath out. Stick out your tongue, open your mouth wide and just exhale, get all the breath out. Exhale, 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 exhale. Hold the breath out and it's like a fake inhale. Pull the belly back and spread your ribs. Go through the physical motion that you would go through if you were inhaling, but without the breath. Keep pulling it in. Hold the breath out for as long as you can, and then gently relax and inhale. And exhale. So we're gonna do it a few more times. Take some natural breaths. And this might take some time to develop the ability to isolate the body parts like this. Uh, and it can be helpful to do it looking in a mirror. I don't think we have any full length mirrors here where you can actually see your belly. So when you get home, you can do it looking in the mirror. Let's do it again, inhale. Exhale fully, squeeze all the breath out. Exhale, 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 exhale. Engage Mula Bandha, suck the belly button up and back, flare out the ribs. And once you get that emptiness, then start pumping. Pull the tummy, pull the belly button in and out. Yes. So the contraindications for this are pregnancy, 
and if you don't have an empty belly. So this is best first thing in the morning. Good. When you need breath, come up. Cleansing breath. We'll do it two more times. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Exhale. Make sure you squeeze every last bit. Like do an extra exhale. You have more stored breath in there that you think. So it's going to be super, super refreshing. And then suck the belly in. And pump the belly. Yes. Keep your eyes closed. Yes, that's it. It feels weird. Yeah, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it feels good. Maybe once you get used to it, you could say it feels good, but at first it feels weird. It's normal to feel a little bit dizzy, a little bit lightheaded, and even a tiny bit nauseous because it's so detoxifying. So last one, inhale the arms up. Exhale all the breath out. Exhale, 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 exhale. Exhale even more, even more. Really work on that detoxification, getting rid of any of the gunk that is still stored anywhere in the tissues on all levels. Yeah. Yep. And then twist it out. Observe the effect. Maybe you feel a little lighter. So this is a great way to support digestion and elimination. It's a great way to temper your nervous system and strengthen your nervous system, strengthen the vagus nerve. It's a great way to massage the deep muscles of the core and the back, helping to uh, eliminate, decrease back pain, body pain. And it's just very energizing and awakening. So not necessarily something you'd want to do before you go to bed. It has more the opposite effects. So good first thing in the morning, energizes you, gets you ready for your day. So come and stand up at the top of your mat. Take a moment in Samastitihi. Close your eyes, bring your palms together in front of your heart. And just check in. Good morning, body. Thank you. I love you. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up to the sky. Grab your right wrist, side bend to the left. Notice where your feet are, rooted in Padabandha. Inhale through center, grab your left wrist, bend to your right. Inhale through center, exhale, hands to your low back. Press your hips forward, lift your chest up as you arch back. Exhale, forward fold, interlace your fingers, stretch your arms overhead. Sweep your hands to your shins, lengthen your spine. Exhale, ground through your hands, step, step back into downward facing dog. So we're gonna change up the Lakshmi rising sun salutation a bit. Take your right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to chest, pulse forward, one-legged plank. Inhale, take the leg back into the sky. Pulse your knee to the left armpit. Shift forward. Send the leg up and back. Option to shift forward into the scissors arm balance. Take your knee to the outer right armpit. Bend your elbows. Lean your left hip into the left arm. Kick your legs out. Send the leg back and up to the sky. And step the foot forward between your hands. Press into your feet. Roll up to a high lunge. Twist to your right, left arm forward, right arm back, look back. Inhale, arms up, open into warrior two. Shift forward and reverse your warrior two. Exhale, hands to the mat. Sweep your right leg back into the sky. Lower the leg down. Shift forward, high plank. Lower straight down onto your belly. Loop the shoulders back, low cobra, stretch your chest forward. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Step your toes together. Left leg to the sky. Left knee to chest, Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha. Left leg back and up, cross the body, knee to armpit. Lower locks. Notice what energy is moving upward, what's moving downward. Knee to the left, bend both elbows. Lean your right wrist into your right elbow and float the legs. Send the leg back and up and step the foot forward between your hands. Rise up, high lunge, twist left, right arm forward, left arm back, keep your feet where they are. Inhale, arms up, open into warrior two. 
Stretch forward and reverse your warrior two. Exhale, hands to the mat. Left leg sweeps up to the sky. Lower the leg, shift forward, high plank. Drop down onto your belly. Loop the shoulders, low cobra. Press back into down dog. Connect with your breath. Step your feet together, heels in, toes out, wag your tail, sway your hips side to side. Come back to neutral, ground through your left hand, reach your right hand across to your right ankle and lean your hips to the right. So feet are in ballet first position, right hand connected to right ankle, hips lean to the right, look to the sky past your left hip. And switch sides, right hand grounds, left hand reaches to left ankle, lean your hips to the left. and back through center. Open your feet as wide as your mat. Walk your hands back to your feet, squat down. Take your right arm, tuck it underneath your right thigh and reach your left arm across your back. Find the bind here in Malasana. Straighten out your legs and stretch. Let go of your head. Move into the sensation. Squat back down, unbind, palms to heart. Left arm under left thigh, right arm across your back. Hands come together by the left hip, legs straighten, hang down. Breathe into the tight spaces. Breathe into the discomfort, breathe into the resistance. And notice if you can move your energy there. Tap into the energy that's moving upward and move it into the spaces that are stuck. Start to free up those spaces. Unbind, squat down. Release your hands down, lift your hips up. Inch your feet so they are underneath your hips. Hands to shins, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold over your legs. Exhale, exhale, all the breath out. Hold the breath out and roll up to standing without any breath. Mula Bandha, suck the belly in, no breath. Reach the arms out and up. Inhale with the arms overhead. Exhale, palms to heart. Take a cleansing breath. Rock forward and back across the bottoms of your feet. Focus your eyes on something that's not moving. <clears throat> Root your left foot in Pada Bandha. Engage Mula Bandha. And notice how engaging Mula Bandha, you can lift up into tree pose with more stability. Right leg comes to inner thigh. Palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach your arms out and up to the sky. Kali Mudra, stretch even taller, stand even taller. Engage Mula Bandha again, curl your right knee into your chest. Lower the leg down, hold on to the inside of your knee with your right hand and open the leg out to the side. Press the left hip open and the right knee open. Keep lifting through Mula Bandha and reach the left arm to the sky. Get as flat as you can get. Gently swivel the leg forward. Reach both arms to the sky. Kick the leg out in front of you. Use Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha. Push down with the left leg. Reach up with the right leg. Three, two, and one. Release the leg down. Feet as wide as your hips. Inhale onto your tiptoes. Tadasana Kriya. Interlace your fingers, palms to the sky. Drop the heels, lift the toes, squat down and back. Float back up onto your tiptoes. Exhale, heels down, arms down. Do it on the opposite side. Focus your eyes. Root through your right leg. Engage Mula Bandha first. Find that stability. Notice what's moving down and channel the downward moving energy through that leg. Channel the upward moving energy through the spine, through the diaphragm. Take the left leg up. Take the arms up. Swivel the leg forward. Bring your hand to your inner knee. Unhook the foot so the foot is under the knee. 
Open the leg out to the side and press the knee and the hip points away from each other. Get flat. Reach the arm up. Keep breathing. Be intentional. Something moving down, pelvic floor engaged, belly button lifted, stabilized from your center. You're strong. Tap into the source of that strength. Swivel the leg forward. Reach both arms up. Extend the leg. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Release it down. Feet as wide as your hips. Inhale up onto your tiptoes, palms to the sky. Heels down, toes up, squat. Rise back up onto your tiptoes. Heels down, arms down. Root through your feet. Inhale, reach your arms out into the sky. Grab your right wrist, side bend to your left. Come back through center, grab your left wrist, bend through your right. Take your time, back through center, exhale, deeply cleanse. Inhale, open your heart space. Exhale, hinge from the hips, interlace your fingers, stretch your arms overhead. Swing your hands to your shins, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, walk your hands forward. Take your right leg to the sky. Same thing we did in the first sun salutation. Knee to chest, pulse forward. Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha. Inhale, take the leg back and high. Cross the body, knee to left armpit. Shift forward. Send the leg back and up. We're going to come forward with Chaturanga arms. Upper arms stay parallel. Gaze stays forward. Bend your elbows. Lean your inner right thigh on your right elbow and your left waist on your left hip. Look to the right and float your legs. Send the right leg back and up to the sky. Step the foot forward between your hands. Drop your back knee. Inhale, roll up into a low lunge. Stretch your right arm all the way back. Reach your left arm up even higher. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, shift forward into a twist. Stack your palms, lift your heart to meet your thumbs. Spread your wings, reach your left arm down and your right arm up. Thread your right arm across your back, tuck your left arm under your outer thigh, bring your hands together into a bind. Reach for the opposite hand. Maybe they reach, maybe not. If they do reach, pull up and away from that point. Lengthen your spine a little bit more. Lean your shoulders back and push your hips forward. Breath three two, and one. Untwist, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground on the inside of your foot. Tuck your back tiptoes, walk your hands to the left. Bend each knee three times. Move into the tightness. Move into the place where you have the most sensation. Don't just rush through it. Find the deepest stretch you can get in your hips. Arrange your torso in the way that gives you even more sensation, even more stretch. Come back through center, straighten out both legs, angle your toes inward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold over your legs. Connect with your breath. Squeezing your belly with the compression of the fold. Lean the weight forward into your toes so your hips are right in line with your ankles instead of leaning back. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. You might need to step your feet a little bit closer together or maybe not. We'll see how it goes. Reach your left hand across to your right ankle. Reach your right arm over your left and grab your left ankle so you're holding onto the opposite ankle and just let your head dangle. If you can grip from the front of the ankles, you'll have a better grip, yeah. Use your bones. 
So make sure you're holding on to the fronts of the ankles so that we can take the next step. Well, actually, before we do the next step, cross your left arm on top of your right so you get the stretch on the opposite side. Gripping the front of the ankles, head dangling. We're gently distracting the shoulders, creating a little more space in the shoulder joint. You guys have it? Yes. Yeah. Breathe into the back of your heart. Create more space in your neck. Switch the arms again so the right arm is on top. And now twist, duck your head underneath your right arm like you're dancing with somebody. Spin your spine towards your left leg. Open up your armpits. Yes. So head ducks right underneath your arm. Two more breaths. Release. Opposite side, switch arms. Duck your head underneath your left arm. And release. Inhale, hands under your shoulders, lengthen through your spine. Walk your hands forward over your right leg, back at the front of your mat. Sweep your right leg back and high to the sky, as high as it will go. Bend your knee, lean to the left, and very gently flip your dog over into wild thing. Open through your front body, arc back. Three breaths. Come back through center, plant your right hand, squeeze your right knee into your chest. Keep your knee squeezed into your chest, roll to the inside of your back foot. Keep your right knee squeezed into your chest, reach your left arm to the sky. Side plank with the bottom knee squeezed in, left leg straight. Option to straighten the right leg forward, hover four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, plant the hand. Send the leg back and high to the sky. Lower the leg down. Glide through upward facing dog. And press back into child's pose. Ha. Ah. Feel your heartbeat. Feel the downward moving flow. The upward moving flow. The centering flow. The expansive flow. And meet yourself there witnessing all of it. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Three more deep diaphragmatic breaths. Come up onto all fours and press back into downward facing dog. Step your toes together. Take your left leg to the sky. Squeeze your thigh to your chest in one legged plank. Inhale your tiptoes to the sky. Cross the body with your leg. Shift forward. Send the leg back and up. Knee to left shoulder, bend your elbows, rest your inner thigh on your left arm and your right hip on your right arm. Tip your shoulders forward. You can even tip forward so much that your head is on the ground and then start to straighten out the left leg and float the right leg. Just play with it, just because we can. Left leg comes back and up just because we have legs. Let's not see what they can do. Step the foot forward between your hands. Drop your back knee. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, arms to the sky, low lunge. Left arm stretches back, right arm reaches high, full breath in, twist to your left. Use your bones and your arms to leverage your body deeper into the twist. Lift your heart up to meet your thumbs. Spread your arms. Thread the left arm across your low back. Tuck the right arm underneath your outer thigh and join your hands, or not. Make an energetic connection if the physical connection isn't there. If you have the physical connection, pull up and away, lean back, lean your shoulders back, send your hips forward, and by forward I mean to the left side of your mat. Lean your shoulders back to the right side of the mat. 
Open your heart even more. Find the lightness in your heart space, the buoyancy in your heart space. Like your heart is a big helium balloon or a big hot air balloon. It's getting bigger and bigger, floating higher and higher. Release the bind, release the twist, arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor on the inside of your foot. Come onto your back, tiptoes, low side lunge, three times as you wish. Find the rhythm, find the shape that's going to give you the stretch that's, that you need. Find center, straighten out both legs, angle your toes inward, inhale, lengthen through your spine, exhale, forward fold. Make your spine a little bit longer, stretch your head toward the floor. Lean the weight forward more towards your toes. You have an option if it's something, it's not a teaching moment, but if you'd like to come into a headstand, that is available. If that doesn't make any sense, then, then no worries. Something moving upward, something moving downward. Meeting yourself in the center, the still point. The observer exists in the still point so that we can direct it. Inhale, flat back. Cross your right arm over your left arm. Grab your opposite ankle. Let your head dangle and create a little more space in your shoulders. Cross your other arm on top. Space in your shoulders, three dimensional space from the tops, the bottoms, the back side, the front side, all around the shoulder blade. Cross your arms once again, opposite arm on top, and this time twist. Duck your head under your top arm, line up your spine with your left thigh, big, huge open heart. Widen your elbows, frame your face with your arms. Come back through center, switch arms. Twist the other way. You got it. Wide elbows, long spine. Breathe into the space, reclaim the space with every breath and take up that space. On twist. Hands under your shoulders, lengthen your spine. Walk your hands forward over your left leg. <clears throat> Send the leg back and up to the sky, three-leg dog. Bend your knee, lean to the right, flip your dog over. Open through your front body, three breaths in wild thing. Flip it back around, squeeze your left knee to your chest in a one-legged plank. Roll your right heel to the floor, point your left knee to the side jungle, reach your right arm to the sky, keep squeezing left knee to chest. Squeeze your thigh closer to your chest. And now kick it out. Three, two, heart to the sky. Yes, and release, pull it back, send the leg to the sky. Lower the leg, rinse the spine, rinse the breath, inhale, up dog. Exhale, child's pose. Meet yourself at that still point in your center. Observe from that point what's moving up, what's grounding down, what is gathering in the center, what's expanding outward to the edges.
Come back up onto all fours and press back into downward facing dog. Look past your hands, inhale fully. Exhale fully, exhale all the breath out, stay empty. Mula Bandha, deep, deep Uddiyana Bandha, fly up and through with your feet. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold over your legs, hold the breath out, roll up empty. Arms up, inhale, exhale, palms to heart. Close your eyes, cleansing breath. Rock forward and back across the bottoms of your feet. Root through your left foot in Padabandha. Draw up through Mula Bandha. Cross right ankle over left thigh. Sit back into a figure four chair. Arch your back, stick your butt way out, lift your chest up. Find the depth of the sensation in the right hip. Hinge from your joints to get more stretch. Make your chest bigger, make your breath capacity larger. Maintain Mula Bandha. Stand up, grab onto your heel with your right arm, right hand. Kick the foot into the hand, out to the right. Reach your left arm out to the side. Lean back and flatten out. So if you grab right onto the front of your heel, it's like a handle. Lakeisha, hold onto the front. It's like you can just fits right into your palm. Yep. And lean back. Lift and open across your chest. Yes. Breath three, two, and one. Release the leg, squeeze the knee into the chest. Stay in your balance, use Mula Bandha. Soar the leg back, land on your back tiptoes. Inhale, reach your arms up, high lunge. Open up into warrior two. Reach forward and reverse your warrior two. Inhale, exhale, forearm to thigh bone. Right arm reaches up to the sky, lean back, flatten out an extended side angle. Lift a little higher to the sky so there's zero weight in your left arm. Reach the right arm even higher and slide the left hand down to the floor on the inside of your foot. Stretch the right arm overhead, roll your heart to the sky, drop the hips a little bit more to create more space between your two feet. Fingers reaching overhead, push your hips forward, lean your shoulders back. How flat can you get? And re uh, return to warrior two. Left fingers sweep across the sky. Exhale, hands frame your front foot. Swivel your left leg back and up to the sky. Lower the left leg down, glide through upward facing dog. Press back through downward facing dog. Exhale all your breath out. Hop your feet to your hands. Lengthen through your spine. Fold over your legs. Roll up to standing. Reach the arms. Natural breath. Palms to heart. Cleansing breath. Good. Rock forward and back across the bottoms of the feet. This time root through your right foot. Focus your eyes, engage Mula Bandha. Cross ankle over thigh, palms to heart. Sit down and back. So this time the left leg is on top or the opposite leg is on top. Stick your butt out, lift your chest. Hinge from your joints to find the deepest sensation, the deepest stretch you can find. Shoulders back, chest lifting. Breathe into the left hip. Keep engaging Mula Bandha and a gentle Uddiyana Bandha, so the breath is full, Ujjayi breath fluid. Stand up, grip your heel with your left hand, like two pieces of a puzzle, they fit right together. Stack shoulders over hips first, kick the leg out to the side and up. Reach your right arm to the sky, lift your chest. Lift the corners of your eyes and the edges of your mouth to engage that upward lifting energy. Awareness at the crown of the head. At the same time, awareness on the bottom of your foot. Lifting up and grounding down together. Mm -hmm. Bend the knee. Take it into your midline. Glide the leg back. And land in your high lunge. 
Open into warrior two. Reach forward and reverse your warrior two. Exhale, forearm to thigh. Left arm reaches up first. Rather than overhead first, reach up. And use that to lift yourself up. Try to touch the ceiling and take the weight out of this bottom arm. Get flat, pull the left hip back and push the right hip forward while keeping your right knee over your right ankle. Lift a little bit higher. Now ease your right hand to the floor just inside your ankle. Maybe slide your feet farther apart so you can drop the hips more. Stretch the left arm over your ear. And again, flatten out. Hips forward, shoulders back, spine to thigh, heart to sky, big, huge armpit. One more breath. Reverse warrior two, use Mula Bandha to lift yourself up. Exhale, frame the front foot. Sweep your right leg all the way to the sky. Lower the leg down. Glide through upward facing dog. And back through downward facing dog. Step your toes together. Inhale your right leg high. Step the right foot forward in between your hands. Roll up into a high lunge. Ground the back heel, open into warrior two. Shift forward and reverse your warrior two. Take your hand to the floor on the inside of your front foot. Reach your left arm to the sky. Loop the left arm across your lower back. Take your right arm underneath your inner thigh and grab onto your left wrist. Look down to your right foot. Take three steps with the back foot up to meet your front foot. Stand at the front of your mat, feet as wide as your shoulders. One arm threaded in between your thighs. Look down to your big toe, engage Mula Bandha. Stand up, stack shoulders over hips. Once you're in the stack, extend the right leg. Yes. If the stack's not there, you can find any of the other variations that we found. You can hold your inner knee. You can hold your heel. You can stretch out your leg. You can find tree pose. So somehow express this shape in your body. Don't just give up and say it's not available. It's available, I saw all of you do it. So find your expression of this opening, of the bandhas lifting you up, grounding you down, stabilizing in your center. Gently release, lower your foot back to the mat, step back into a low lunge, frame your foot, sweep the right leg all the way high to the sky, bend the knee, flip your dog over, open up into wild thing, three, two, and one, flip back through, knee to chest. Roll to the inside of the back foot. Take your left hand, grab onto the pinky toe side of your right foot. Kick your foot to the top of your mat. Breath three, two, and one. Pull it back in, send it up to the sky. Lower the leg, glide through upward facing dog and press back into child's pose. Check in. What's moving up? What's moving down? How can you observe without getting too caught up in all the action? Fully present, participating without judgment. Loving awareness. The object is to stay present, is to stay aware, not to get caught up in the ego of who's doing what and how you're doing it. You have all the options. There's at least five different ways to embody the shape that we've already done together. One is no better than the other. Find the expression that will give you the chance to experience the embodiment of it. Come back up onto all fours. 
press back into down dog. Step your toes together, take your left leg to the sky. Step the left foot forward in between your hands. Roll up into a high lunge. Ground the back heel, open into warrior two. Reach forward, reverse your warrior two. Cartwheel your left hand to the floor on the inside of your left foot. Reach your right arm to the sky. Loop the right arm across your low back, palm facing away from your body, fingers stretching to the floor. Take the left arm under your inner thigh, reach up and grab onto your left wrist with your right hand. Pull your chest open to create more space. And now look down to your left big toe. Engage Mula Bandha. Take three steps with the back foot up to the front of your mat. Root through your right foot. Engage Mula Bandha. Stand up and bring your leg with you. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Take your time. You might arrive here or not. Meet yourself where you are. Once you come into the stack, you can work on straightening your leg. But don't even bother working on straightening the leg if your shoulders are way here because you'll just topple over. So most important thing, shoulders over hips. And if the bind isn't there, grab your heel and work on straightening the leg from there. Or if you don't feel like straightening your leg, hold on to your knee or foot to inner thigh. Be fully present. Three more breaths. Yes. If you're in the bind, gently release yourself down the same way you came up. Step back. All of us come into a low lunge with the left leg forward. Sweep the leg high. Bend the knee, flip your dog over into wild thing. Back through center, knee to chest. Roll to the inside of your back foot, your right foot. Grab your heel, your left heel with your right hand. Kick your foot forward. Duck your head under your arm, drop your hips. Kick your foot all the way to the top of the mat. Yes, make a little loop for your head. And send the leg back into three leg dog. Lower the leg, shift forward, high plank. Come on to your belly. Stretch your arms forward, stretch your legs back. Rest your forehead on the mat for five breaths. Pose of surrender. Lift your head, bend your knees, reach back and grab both ankles. Lift up and pull back. Ten deep breaths. Each breath, lift your feet a little bit higher, lean your shoulders back a little bit more. You can rock a little bit, massaging your belly against the floor after all of those abdominal contractions. Keep puffing up, lifting up, leaning back. Even bigger chest, even bigger heart. Tap into these values. Get a little bit lighter, a little more upward lift. A little more grounded. Breath three, two, one. Soften down, hands beneath shoulders, press back into child's pose. Three times, move from child's pose to hands and knees. And press back again into child's pose. Take a little rest. Ha. In the most effortless way, find your way onto your back with your feet toward me. your knees into your chest. 
Rock side to side across your back. Lengthen your arms long by your sides. Stretch your toes to the floor behind your head into plow. Arms parallel to each other. Push off of your arms to support your neck. Once your toes are back, bring your hands around to support your low back. All ten fingers pointing upward. And just notice how all three bandhas are engaged here. Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, and Jalandhara Bandha. Exhale fully, squeeze the breath out, and pause for a moment with no breath. Hands are supporting your low back, elbows are bent, so you have support in this shape. So notice how this breath retention feels with all three bandhas engaged. Return to your natural breath. Send your legs up to the sky. And notice, again, how all three bandhas, Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, and Jalandhara Bandha, regulate the intake and expression of breath. Inspiration and expression. Five more upside down breaths. And slowly roll down. Hug your knees into your chest, pull your forehead into your knees, squeeze yourself into the tightest, tiniest little seed. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Inhale, stretch everything out, lengthen. Press the back of your head against your mat and roll your head from side to side. And check in, is there any other movement that you need? Anything that's missing, anything that will rebalance. Take any other movements that you like and slowly ease yourself into Shavasana. Settle in, be heavy. Let go of the technique, let go of the awareness, soften, natural breath.
deepen your breath from a place of rest. Observe the expansive prana vayu and just tap into the expansive nature of life force within your body. Tap into the grounding apana vayu, the force of the earth and gravity holding you in place. The stabilizing samana vayu, a point in your center that's the center of gravity, energy moving inward to that central point. And Vyana Vayu, the outward flow, the energy of movement, mobility. These subtle energies are always there. And the more we can become aware of them, the more we can consciously direct them which will change our relationship with our physical body. We have access to so much more. Send deep gratitude and love to your body. in a gentle way, wiggle and stretch. And using these values, these currents of energy, effortlessly rise to seated. Again, notice what's lifting you up, what's grounding you, where is your center, where is your edge. And we'll end our practice this morning with a collective OM. Inhale with me, exhale to chant. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. And have a lovely morning. When we come back, we'll go over the class. We'll do our quiz and have bring your manual and uh, notebook with you. We'll see how much time we have after the quiz to do other things.